everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I paint a very simple design on this green gloss wine bottle I have already cleaned it off this is the bottle that I use from a lot of my videos and I'll just end up wiping it off when I'm done uh, but just to show you some of the designs I am going to be using three a magic flat brushes and it will be a 14, a 12, and a number 4. I am putting links down below, so if you want to purchase anything, you can do that through my affiliate links. And then I'm also using a fine liner brush by Westonia. Love those. It's actually a nail brush. All the paint I'm using today are... Folk Art Paints, a combination of multi-surface and enamels. This is Red Violet, Bumblebee, Thicket, Wicker White, and Lime Green. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the number 14 brush for my florals. I'm going to go ahead and Dip one side of the number 14 into the red violet and the wicker white and do a blending stroke. And then just keep doing your blending strokes as you go. Or you can just keep adding paint. That's up to you. All right, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to start at the top here with a few little, oh, uh, kind of maybe buds. Now this is a an easy way to do just keep doing it over you know so that you have that's going like that have a bigger one and then you can do smaller I normally do about three pretty easy right I just kind of like to have them going in different directions. Now when you're doing this, if you feel like you need to add a little bit more paint, if it's not covering as well, because the more opaque your design is, the more durable it's going to be, just so you know. But these are very simple. You can either give it some dry time or you can, I'm going to go like this and then bring it up. What I was going to say is you can do some dry time or you can hit it with a hair dryer. Bring it up, bring it down, so I got a little split here. It's the only thing when you're doing, doing these, sometimes you can pull the paint. Just go back over it up see it's coming off just have to be careful when you're trying to do wigglies sometimes it's not as easy as it looks I'm just doing slight wiggles too not anything too crazy because when you're doing it on glass it can be a little harder because it does pull, have a tendency to pull your paint off and for some reason this is getting a a crackled look. I'm not really sure why it's doing that, but that is not typical. But then sometimes I come back in and just kind of cover it up a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here and do one one going this direction. Bring it up. I'm just doing slight wiggles. And come this direction, do a slight wiggle, bigger wiggle, like that. And like I said, if it splits like that, you can always just, you know, kind of touch it up, come back over it a little bit, or you can do it a lot. Just kind of tap it and bring it however you need to do it. 
But I'm also going to be going over it a little bit because I'm going to come back in here with the fold and bring it back like that. So when I'm folding it, I'll just come back in here and tap it a little bit so it fills it back in. There you go. Just pretty easy. Like I said, it's separated there. I don't know why. So technically, in the real world, I would have come back over it, let it dry a little bit, and come back over it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to keep painting. Again, I'm just doing slight wiggles, pulling it up and down. I'm going to do the light on the ends. And since it did separate, I'm going to go back over it again. I don't want it to have that look. I'll keep doing it. And then I'm going to do the darker on the outside. Now see on some of these, you know, you can try to judge where your light's coming from because you might even want to make three of these darker as opposed to just the the two. But I kind of like the, the darker on the bottom, just like I'm ha I have it here. So not a big deal. All right, so I have that. I'm going to cut this a little short because I don't have as much room as I did on my on my bottle, or on my paper, I should say. I'm sorry. But anyhow, so I'm wiggling. Just doing the wiggles and then I'm going to come over it and I'll do, do a darker but switch it here. Now again with the base I'm going to come back over it because I want to make sure that it's covered well and then I'm going to do a few more. Just kind of put them out here, put it down, wiggle, do wiggle, pull up, pull back and keep wiggling. If I want more white, I'm just going to come back over it again. Wiggle, wiggle. And then we'll do it like that. And let's see, let's put another one down here. I turned my brush wrong on the paint. So I do, a, do my craziness here and then I show you how to do it wrong. Yes, I'm showing you, don't do what I do. <laughs> this is how you make mistakes. Okay. So these are just like my little, my little bud, or they're, these are the buds up here, but these are just like partially opened. You know, still, Kind of a bud in a sense, but not the same as up here. All right, so then I'm going to take my greens. So I'm going to do my thicket and my lime green. I am going to put it in a little bit of white. And I just keep adding colors and, and doing blending strokes as I go. All right. So then on this, I'm just going to, I'm not going to do it as really as a, like a whole stem. I'm just going to kind of connect the flowers together with this and do leaves around it, basically. All right, so on my leaves, because I have a green bottle, I still might rotate them a little bit. But I'll probably do a good part of my my leaves with the lighter on the outside. So if you notice there, I made a kind of like a V shape. That's just a guide. And I'm trying hard not to drop the bottle because I already did that once. I had to start over. All right. So then I'm going to do this, and I'm just pushing it down, giving it a wiggle. And as I do that, I'm bringing it up on the chisel edge. And then I'll throw a stem down the center. All right. So then 
got the lighter green on the exterior side the dark on the inside now I can go ahead and reverse it and I'm going to go ahead and do a V again and that's just a guideline and on this I guess it is showing up okay because sometimes with the darker green it doesn't show up real well on the dark green bottles and then I'll just bring a little stem down through here <clears throat> it's like that and I can have it coming off of the stem here if I want and bring it in that's fine kind of gives a little more interest if you rotate the colors a little bit oops I didn't do my V and I can wiggle it out further but I kind of making it like having it ruffled to the top and then thin out towards the bottom I'm going to pull a stem down through it now again I can put two here or I can just leave it as one I think I'm going to go ahead and do like I did at the top though I didn't do the V again I forget because I don't always do the V but I've found that in doing this video doing the V actually kept me on target with the top part of the shape of the leaf and whenever you're doing this if you feel like you don't like how the des this design turned out just wash it off and go again it's one thing nice about dealing with glass it's pretty easy to create create or correct I should say any type of mistakes that you feel that you've made or you know, fix them a lot easier to fix on glass than it is on other surfaces for the mere fact that you can just wipe it off so I'm just going around and placing placing these bigger leaves just in random spots I'm going to go ahead and do I'm going to go ahead and come up here do my little V again and just push down just like, like you're, you're washing I won't say windows but you're washing so you push it down and you're just wiggling it just ever so slightly and as you do that you're pulling it around and making the basic shape of the leaf Just very simple and you can always throw one in the center here but I'm not going to on this one I think I might throw one more big one out here and I didn't do the V again but I'll try my darndest to keep it in the shape sorry hopefully I'm getting this on the video I apologize if I'm off the screen a lot Actually need a bigger area to do these in all right so I got that pretty easy right then I'm going to take my smaller brush and this is the number four I'm gonna put it into the lime green just put it in there I'm gonna grab some white because I don't really want it to be you know the colors to be real separated on this but I can it's not, not a big deal but I like to try to come up with this is not a different leaf but you know some different colors as I'm doing this just make it real simple but I want it to still be opaque as much as I can I don't want it to be too thin so I started pulling that so that's one thing you have to be careful yeah, so you definitely have to be careful when you're doing glass because it has a tendency to pull up the paint underneath now you can do you know little stems in them or you don't you don't have to I just kind of like to do some little pulls from them you can add add some leaves to them if you want you pull it out here just bring some more leaves 
And they, again, don't have to have two different colors in them, like a one stroke thing. You don't have to do that. But it just kind of gives it a, a different look. And then you can come through here and just do kind of the same thing, overlapping a little bit. You might pull in some of the wet color from underneath, which is fine. Sometimes that can give it just a really uh, neat look because it, it adds another color into it. And you could even do that on purpose as far as that goes if you want to intentionally add another color, which I, I have a tendency to do. I do that quite a bit. And so I don't want it too You turn your brush too if you want. Get the paint that's on the other side of it. And this is just giving you a a brighter green than what I was originally working with. Again, I'm just lightly, lightly pulling on the chisel edge just to pull some stuff out. Now, you know, keep in mind, this this right here is not going to be real durable because it's thin. So if you don't want to risk that, then, then don't end up part. And for some reason, it's separating there. And just take your time with it and look at it. See where you need to add. And where is it, you know, fine because you don't have to have, you know, a certain amount or whatever. So under these, I'm just going to do this way to connect these. Oops. like it to be all right here Oops. mess that up a little bit now that's okay I'll put a leaf there that's how I end up fixing mistakes a lot of times is just throwing something over the top of it and you can put leaves up around them if you want You don't have to use as many leaves because I, I use a lot of leaves. A lot of times I'm pretty heavy handed on the leaves a lot of times. That's just me and my painting style. But I also feel like you know, as you paint you're going to get your own painting style so don't don't be too harsh on yourself. Just give yourself a chance. Just keep practicing. You'll find what works for you may not be exactly what what I would do but that's fine it's your own your own little way of doing things that's great all right so we're gonna stop with the leaves and then what I'm gonna do is just take the I'm gonna add in some center so I'm taking the bottom of the brush handle and I'm just going to come in here and even on the partially open ones I'm going to add a little dot. If I want I can do just a few little dots leading out from these. Just you can leave that off if you want. You don't have to do this part. Up to you. Just do little dots. And then what I'm going to do on these bigger ones Use the centers that I just did, and I'm just going to run my brush through it. So it doesn't have to maintain this the circle by any means. Just use that as a point of reference to pull and put these little little pieces that come out from there. I mean, if you want a distinct center, you can do that and then go back over it 
with your the end of the brush but I don't really care too much about that so I'm not going to do that and on this one what I'm gonna do is just have it like it's coming out from the top part I mean it can hang down a little bit if you want but remember this is folded up so you don't necessarily have to see a completely round center or you know all around the center I should say this come out a little bit more down here and if it's not enough then add add more color to it if you want all right pretty simple there you go and just you know used what five paints pretty easy pretty affordable all right if you like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and notification bell before you leave, if you would be so kind to share this on your social network with all your family and friends, I would gratefully, or be grateful, I should say, and appreciate you doing that. And all you have to do is hit that share button you'll find underneath the video, and it'll give you your options. Pretty easy. All right, thanks again for taking time to view my video, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay safe and healthy and have a good one.